Hey guys, this is Dauntless, and welcome to World of Tanks Tactics. Uh, this is my first ever commentary video that I've done for World of Tanks, so I apologize in advance if it's a little bit sloppy. So, here we go. Uh, we are playing a game on mines, and I am platoon with my very good friend Gauntlets. And right off the start, we communicated and decided to go for the hill. Now, he, since he was top tier, he was going to take the hill, but I was going to see exactly what happened. Uh, and just kind of play it by what I saw before I pushed. Uh, whenever you're in a light tank, it's really important that you conserve as much as your a of your HP as possible uh, in the early stages of the game until uh, the game kind of plays out. Um, and despite whether your team is losing or winning, your team is always going to want to have a scout, uh, especially the artillery, for you to you know, delight those pesky TDs and artillery that are going to be hiding towards the back of the base. And so, you know, if the, when the light tanks go out in YOLO towards the very beginning, um, you put your team at a huge disadvantage. And I personally love playing my scout tanks, and so the Type 62 is actually a tank that will really help you um, become a very good scout just because of the, the, very for, the very poor firepower that it has, because most of the time it's not even worth pulling the trigger. So anyway, back to the game. As you can see here, I am just kind of, you know, just sitting back and hanging out. Um, I take a few pot shots here and there, but really the gun isn't going to go through. I'm more trying to just distract them at this point, draw their fire so that Gauntless on the hill can maybe get some side shots in. But at the moment, I think he's a little bit preoccupied. So, you know, a lot of people might see what I'm doing here and call me a noob, you know, I should go light, but, you know, this works really well for me. You know, I'm always looking at the map, I'm always looking at where I need to be or where I could potentially be, and looking at the one line we're doing well, looking at the city we're doing, you know, decent, it's not really crucial that I'm there. And at this point, I feel like, okay, the T29 on our team is pretty low on health. And the best thing I can do right now is just stay here and put some pressure on them. You know, at least try to distract them. Yep, and there goes the T29. Huh. Uh, and so as long as I'm here, uh, it's just one more thing they have to worry about. And it's going to cause them to play uh, a little bit less poorly. Just like this right here. I'm able to put a quick shot at the T29. Unfortunately, didn't roll high enough to take him out. But now he's looking at me. And he's thinking, oh, maybe I can't push. And so, you know, even if you're a light tank and you can't do much, even if all you can do is bounce them or track them or hit them with HE, being that distraction, forcing them to turn their gun or their frontal armor towards you is enough for your allies to be able to do something. The second they sit still long enough, maybe artillery can hit them or your teammates can just put one on the side of them. So at this point, I'm not extremely worried about the cap. Um, because it is encounter and it will take two minutes, I figure Dauntless will be able to reset if needed to be. I really want to kill this IS-6 because I feel like he's going to push, and yep, there he goes. He a little bit low to miss his space armor, and I'm able to take him out. Uh, put one into the type, back of this Type 64, softening him up a little bit. I figure Dauntless is able to take him out just because he does have fairly good armor, and the 64 doesn't have the greatest penetration. So I go to track this guy here. Misses track and just hit him right between the track and the spaced armor. Really, really lucky shot. I <laughs> wasn't really going for it, but I'll take the free damage. Gauntless was able to take out the T25. Here I go for a track shot, uh, hoping Artie will be able to hit him, or Gauntless will be able to hit him, but uh, he, I guess he wasn't ready for it. I'll just go for another snapshot, and I have no idea how that penetrated, honestly. Um, with 145 pen, I must have just hit him just right uh, underneath the gun shield or something there. So looking at the minimap, I see a T26E5 that is isolated. He's around the corner and he's by himself. And so, and <laughs> just then, just as I said, that artillery really softened him up. But I feel like, okay, as long as he's there, our guys can't really push out. And so being full life, halfway through the game, only half the enemies are left. I'm like, okay, let's turn the tide in our favor, take out a tank. Um, he's really not going to expect me to be over here suddenly. 
and put one of these back. And he doesn't traverse this hall, so he can't fire at me. And I take him out. Now, unfortunately, Gauntless got killed. Um, and I really don't want to take on the Super Pershing head on, especially with that T28 HTC looking this way. And sure enough, our Tiger 2 got taken out by him. So. I really want to get out of here as fast as I can because that Super Pershing has a fairly accurate gun and if I sit around too long he's going to perma track me, kill me, uh, you know, just mess me up. This thing is very, very fragile and one shot from the back will probably take out my engine, catch me on fire, knock out my ammo rack, you know, just all the crew are very, uh, very tightly packed in this little tank and so. Yep, there goes our last tank. So right now what was going through my mind was, okay, I need to just relocate, get myself into a more secure location, kind of think about what I need to do. Um, I spot their light tank, and I realized here that he must be AFK. And the SB1C in this kind of scenario is extremely dangerous because of his mobility, his auto cannon, and the fact that he has good vision. Um, uh, I was very thankful right there to be able to take him out. So. When you're in a situation like this, you really have to think about where you're going to be the most effective, where you need to be. So I decide that, okay, the super is probably going to push our base, or try to push me at least. And I'm really concerned at the moment that the HTC is pushed up into the, you know, the right into the middle of the F, uh, 4F5 area. And I'm like, okay, if he's there and I push out to kill the super, what's going to happen? The super is going to turn around and I'm not going to be able to pen him. And then I'm going to be trapped between two tanks if the HTC has managed to push its way there and I'm screwed. And then I realize, okay, HTC, or the super Pershing is just going to get on cap and I'm going to have to go back anyway. So from this position, at least if I peek around this corner, I'll be able to spot the HTC if he's in fact there and then push the, uh, the super Pershing. So fortunately, he was able to, Artie was able to soften him up a little bit, but unfortunately, our Artie died. So interesting, I spot the HTC, I hide behind this bush so I don't get lit, and I choose not to fire my gun until I'm out of the bush and I know I'm lit. Uh, that's because I don't want him turning around uh, before I'm able to close the distance between him. So one time behind him like this, game over, uh, and then suddenly the bird is lit right above me. And he takes a shot at me and comes down off the hill, super tracks me, I fix my track really quick, and I know I'm not going to waste my shot here. Oh, he bounced me, really lucky, I, but I have to get around him to kill him. So there we go, clean shot, and Bert really messes me up. Fortunately, he didn't pen me, or that would have been the end of the game. So right here, I'm kind of worried S51 might be able to have an arc on me, so... Where he was last spotted, I figure he has a shot on me if I don't push over to this area. And he does shoot, so I figure, okay, fastest way to get over there, I'm going to hop over to the one line and hopefully flush him out. My thought was he's going to be sitting on V1 again, uh, just like you know most already don't really relocate very well. Or he's going to try to get into some kind of cover, uh, maybe push into the A1 area or go towards the middle and go towards the cat maybe so I just use my mobility and my view range to zoom around the island and I believe I'm lucky enough to spot him here yep so this is a very good arty he has three marks on his s51 very very nice hard to do on artillery and I make two just completely bad shots I shoot I shoot too high but fortunately I was able to take him out so seven kills uh, 2200 damage, not too bad for the Type 62. Uh, anyway, that was my first video. Thank you for watching.